What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got this package in the mail from Tyrant CNC and I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these and try them out, so let's jump into it. A few weeks ago, I got a few accessories from Tyrant CNC for my Hellcat Pro. I did a video on that. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. I'll also make sure it pops up at the end of this video so you guys can go watch that. But I got a few things to dress up the Hellcat. I got their Plus 3 mag extension, their slide cover plate that goes right there on the back, and then their new mag release for the Hellcat or Hellcat Pro. I haven't got this thing to the range yet, but I'm planning on doing that after I install this next accessory. One thing I've been asked about in the comments in my other video is about this mag extension. This adds three rounds to the Hellcat Pro magazine, but if you have a 13 round Hellcat magazine, it only adds one round. I've tried it on both, taken them both apart, put it on. The reason being is that 13 round magazine for the Hellcat already has an extension on it. This is essentially an 11 round magazine with Springfield's own two round extension on it. So when you swap it out for this one, it does have a little more space, adds one more round. If you threw this on the 11 round magazine, yeah, it would add plus three. So just to clear that up, if you guys are wondering, because I've had a few comments about that, so I decided to pull them apart, check it out, and see what the deal was. Enough of that, let's check out what just showed up. UPS just showed up with this about an hour ago. This is the new Hellcat trigger for the Hellcat or Hellcat Pro. I told him I wanted one of these to match the color of the other accessories that I already installed. So I'm kind of excited to throw this thing on and check it out. It looks pretty sweet and it'll be pretty easy to install. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. So let's go over a few details on this thing before we jump over to the bench. So this is machined out of aerospace grade aluminum it's supposed to smooth out the trigger pull and give you a better reset on that trigger. They claim it's a 30% greater reset fill when you reset that trigger. We'll have to test that out once we get it installed. I did have an aftermarket trigger in this gun. Last night I pulled it out. I wanted this trigger to be 100% like it was from the factory so we can see the difference. Let's jump over to the bench, take an up close look at this trigger and we'll compare it to the stock trigger and another aftermarket trigger that I have that I had in this gun before. Now, if you guys want to see the full install, I do have a Rumble page. I'll post that video over on Rumble so you guys can go over there and check that out if you want. YouTube doesn't like us modifying guns on their platform. So if you guys want to watch the install, click that link in the description. So like I said, when they offered to send this to me, I was excited. Most of the guns I have, I put aftermarket triggers in. I love the way it changes the dynamic and shootability of the gun. And it improves on what the factory has come up with. So first things first, we're just going to check make sure this thing is empty it is this is the factory trigger that came in this hellcat i also have my regular hellcat this one has an apex trigger in it which is the same trigger that i had in this previously i want to do a few trigger pull tests on this and get an average so we can compare it when i put this new trigger shoe in That's averaging five pounds, 10.9 ounces with the factory trigger. So here's what this trigger shoe looks like compared to the factory trigger. Aesthetically, it's a hundred times better. This thing is supposed to improve the reset also. Let me show you this factory trigger reset up close so you guys can make the determination. Here's the take up on the factory trigger. Hits that wall and it is a hard wall. Breaks through. There's that reset. So I'm gonna pull this thing apart. Like I mentioned, if you guys wanna watch the full install, hit the link in the description, go over to Rumble. For those of you watching on YouTube, we'll be back and show you what it looks like. A few moments later. Before I put this back together, I'm gonna to show you guys kinda of up close what all three of these trigger shoes look like side by side. The factory one's just plastic, this one's the Tyrant CNC, and this one is the Apex trigger. So you can kinda of see the difference. The factory one's a little more rounded. The Tyrant's got more of a flat face with a little kick out at the bottom. And then this Apex trigger kind of has a radius the whole way through, so it's a little more rounded also. Five minutes later. So let's check function of it. 
without pushing that safety down, it does its job. That's the take up, brake, very little over travel. That's the reset, brake, reset. So now I want to do a trigger pull test on this and see if it changed our weight at all. So five pounds, 9.3 ounces. So it didn't drop our trigger weight that much. We're still right above five and a half pounds. But that trigger shoe does feel nice on the finger. Personally, I like a f kind of a flat face trigger. And then that little dog leg right at the bottom kind of keeps your finger in place. Helps getting right in the same spot every time. So that's what that whole package looks like with the little gray accents. Now they make these in a bunch of different colors so you can pick whatever colors you want and accent your gun however you want. I chose gray. I think that looks pretty good. Those accessories kind of set off the gun, kind of make it unique. I think they look really good. Let's jump back up off the bench and take a look at it. So that's how that trigger shoe turned out. Looks a lot better than the factory. Looks a lot better than the Apex. And I think it rounds out the whole theme with those colored accents. I think that looks pretty good. Now they do make all this stuff in multiple different colors to accessorize your gun. This trigger shoe does feel really good on the finger. It's not bad. That opinion may change when I go to shoot it. You know, if you're out shooting a lot, it may put a pressure point on your finger. I don't know, I haven't been to the range yet. So time will tell. When I do get this thing to the range, I'll make sure I make a video on it and tell you guys anything I find, as well as how those magazine extensions feed and all that stuff. Here's what the take up looks like. Break. Nice short reset. There's a little bit of a difference in the reset, but I'm not sure percentage wise if that's 30% and I don't know how I can measure that here. I've been racking my brain to think of a way to try and measure that. And I'm not sure how, how I can measure that. Overall, I'm happy with it. I think that thing looks great. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I think it's great that companies keep pushing and keep innovating and coming out with aftermarket parts and stuff like this so you can make your gun unique to you. Tyrant CNC did send this trigger out to me, so I wanna say thanks to them for supporting the channel and letting me make cool content like this. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description that'll take you over to our website where you can go check out all these Tyrant CNC parts. I'll also have links for tools and stuff like that that I like to use and that work good for me, so if you wanna go check those out. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.